guys. It is story time with Grandma. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020, and we're going to read this book called My Doll is Lost. It's a Sesame Street book. Okay, let's get started. My Doll is Lost. Harry Monster liked to, sh to skip. One day, he skipped down Sesame Street and right into the mailman. Letters went flying. So did the mailman. Harry helped the mailman get up. Then he picked up the letters. Look, said Harry, a letter for me. Harry dropped his bag and read the letter. The letter said, come to a party today. Bring your favorite doll. It was from Ernie and Bert. Harry skipped down the block. I love parties, he sang. He skipped to Betty Lou's house. She had a letter too. Are you going to the party, he asked her. Oh yes, she said, and so is my beautiful doll. Harry smiled and said, so is my beautiful doll. Then Harry stopped smiling. Where is my doll? Suddenly, Harry remembered, I had my doll in a bag and I put it down on a pile of leaves by the post office. Betty Lou said, let's go find it. They ran to the post office, but the pile of leaves was gone. Someone raked up the leaves, said Betty Lou. And my doll, too, cried Harry. Don't cry, said Betty Lou. I will help you find your doll. What does it look like? Harry thought about his doll. Oh, he is the most beautiful doll in the world, he said. Then it must look like my doll, said Betty Lou. And she ran off to look for a beautiful doll. Just then, Grover came along. My doll is lost, yelled Harry. What does your doll look like, asked Grover. Harry thought about his doll. He is soft and fuzzy, said Harry. My doll is soft and fuzzy too. Do not be sad. I, Grover the finder, will find your doll. And Grover ran off. Harry walked by the bakery. Cookie Monster waved to him. Harry, yelled Cookie, why you look sad? My doll is lost, said Harry, and he is so sweet. Cookie shook his head sadly. My doll's sweet too. Then he gave Harry a cookie. Cookie make you happy, he said. Harry nibbled at the cookie. He was so sad, he did not watch where he was walking. He walked right into Big Bird. Harry, said Big Bird, what's the matter? Harry told Big Bird about his doll. And I cannot go to the party without my doll, cried Harry. Poor Harry, said Big Bird. What does your doll look like? Harry thought about his doll. He is cuddly and he is very nice. Gee, said Big Bird, your doll sounds just like mine. I will look for it. It will be easy to find. And Big Bird ran off. Harry sat down by a trash can. It's nice to have friends who want to help, but I still feel awful, he said to himself. Where is my doll, he yelled out loud. Up popped Oscar the Grouch. No yelling aloud, yelled Oscar. Harry began to cry again. I think my doll was thrown away with the trash, he cried. Oscar's eyes lit up. What does your doll look like? He is beautiful, Harry said. Hmm, said Oscar. I found a beautiful doll in the trash this morning. And he went down into his can. 
Soon, Oscar popped up again. He had a doll with a torn dress and one arm gone. Is this your doll? asked Oscar. No, wailed Harry. Well, said Oscar, I did find another doll, but it is not beautiful. Harry stopped crying. Let me see it, he said. Oscar hunted in his can, then he pulled out a doll. My doll, yelled Harry happily. My beautiful, soft, fuzzy, sweet, cuddly doll. Yuck, said Oscar. Oh, Oscar, said Harry, how can I ever thank you? Just go away, said Oscar. Harry ran to Ernie and Bert's. The party had started and everyone was there. So were their dolls. Betty Lou had a beautiful rag doll. Grover had a soft fuzzy doll. Cookie had a sweet gingerbread man. Big Bird had a cuddly bird doll. And Harry had his beautiful, soft, fuzzy, sweet, cuddly doll. I found my doll, Harry shouted. Isn't he wonderful? Harry's doll did not look like any of their dolls. Gee, Harry, said Ernie, your doll really is wonderful. He looks just like you. The end. Okay, so that was My Doll is Lost. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I'll see you next time. Grandma says bye-bye.